Greetings to one and all. I am Rajeshri Valli Vemuri, working as an application engineer at Advitech Studios LLP, Mumbai, India. Firstly, I would like to thank the International Research Awards on Computer Vision and Science Father for giving me this opportunity. The title of my research is Development of Customized Orthotic Insoles for Leg Length Discrepancy Using 3D Printing. Leg length discrepancy is a condition in which one leg of the person is shorter than the other leg. This difference might vary from a few millimeters to many inches. This condition often leads to other major problems like change in posture, difference in walking pattern, neck pain, hip pain, etc. To eliminate or at least minimize these problems, the use of a correction device also known as an orthotic insole is necessary. In this project, we have used the software Autodesk Fusion 360 to develop a 3D model of the orthotic insole. The analysis was later done in ANSYS software and the model was improved accordingly using finite element methods. Topology optimization, which is an effective technique to improve the design's targeted performance characteristics, was done in Autodesk Fusion 360 again. This topology optimization was based on static stress and static stress study in ANSYS software. Several iterations have been considered to obtain finest outcomes. The ideal design was improved for manufacturability before meshing and analysis. The orthotic insole rods maximum principal stress, maximum principal strain and total deformation values are then changed and put side by side before and after the topology optimization. This is carried out to evaluate the effectiveness of the topology optimization. A weight reduction of around 30% is achieved in the optimized design for the thermoplastic polyurethane material and it is discovered that the stresses in the optimized model are lower than those in the existing model. These results show that the optimized model is useful for design. Foot orthotics are medical devices that restore and improve the function of the foot. They are also called as orthotic insoles. There are conventional methods as well as advanced techniques to develop these orthotic insoles. Conventional methods include plaster and foam box casting. However, this method has several limitations which include practitioner error, excess waste and time consuming processes. Advanced techniques like 3D printing and rapid prototyping improve dimensional accuracy and good manufacturing precision. These techniques reduce the time taken for production, cost, mess and also allow customization. In this project, we have focused on designing and fabricating ergonomic orthotic insoles by using dimensions of the foot to develop a 3D model and then printing it using FDM technology. The main objective is to design and produce a customized orthotic insole for patients suffering from leg length discrepancy as it is very important for the insole to be comfortable and efficient the second objective is to select an ergonomically best suitable model by performing topology analysis review of literature in the first paper that we have considered the researchers observed that leg length discrepancy is a prevalent disorder that often strains the spine and hip. It also causes major health issues like headache and back pain. In order to detect this problem, they have presented a mobile smart insole system designed to access gait parameters that is the walking posture including stance time, ground reaction force and center of pressure. Additionally, their innovation may enhance contactable feedback beneath the foot. Their strategy has been shown to have an impact on gait, notably stance time, which may be used to balance out leg length discrepancy related asymmetries in gait. The next research describes the development of a diabetic insole that can be 3D printed. These researchers came up with the concept of building a sole using 3D printing since majority of the people could not afford con conventional soles. They are highly costly owing to the excess material needed to produce them. Patients would also develop ulcers as a result of pressure that is caused between the sole and the foot. Material extrusion is the most prevalent technique and a viable choice for production 
because of the cheap cost of the equipment and materials used. They were using thermoplastic elastomer and thermoplastic polyurethane as their materials. After that, compressive tests were carried out and finite element analysis models were used to calculate effective modulus of the porous structure. After the FEA testing, orthogonal tests were carried out to find the delicate factors that would have had an unjustified influence on the mechanical properties. In the third paper, lower limb rehabilitation and an insole for flat foot patients were produced. 80 individuals with flat foot and 90 patients with lower limb illness participated in this sample program at Jilin University. The sole will be evenly pressured due to flat foot and each patient will have their foot posture index checked using a clinical diagnostic instrument to see if their foot is abnormal. The 80 patients were split into two groups A and B. Experimental group is A whereas the control group is B. For the experimental group, the sole was created utilizing a foot scan technique. The sole was divided into 10 pieces and peak pressure was checked. Highest region of force and contact. They will conduct readings from week 0 to 8th week with group A wearing the custom made 3D printing insole and group B wearing prefabricated insoles. They learnt that their custom made insole is more comfortable and practical than the prefabricated insoles. In this next research, the authors developed a 3D printed insoles for patients suffering with leg length discrepancy by employing samples, testing them on 7 patients and assessing the findings. The most prevalent symptoms among these patients were knee discomfort, tightness in the muscles and joints and difficulty walking. After the patients were chosen, their feet were scanned using a 3D foot scanner. The 2 by 3rd length type insole technique was used. The software model was finished using the 3D Max application. Following completion, they instructed the patient to use the insole which was inserted into their shoes for everyday activities. For the next 12 weeks, they gather readings each week. They used evaluation methods as 3D gait analysis, pain assessment, LLD measurement and health surveys. They were able to ascertain that the pain and other symptoms had subsided at the end of the 12 week period after performing all these processes. In the final paper, the 3D scanner and printer are used to construct the orthotic insole. The gate kinematic outputs from short and traditional plaster casted orthotics are contrasted in addition to generating foot molds utilizing both 3D scanning and printing and plaster casting techniques. Unique foot orthoses were later produced from each mold. Plaster and foam box casting have limitations such as practitioner error, unnecessary waste and time consuming process. It could be too much for you to bear. Emerging technologies including 3D printing, CAD CAM and fast prototyping methods are utilized to make custom orthotic insoles because they improve dimensional accuracy and manufacturing quality. Methodology Image acquisition is the first step in methodology. The act of retrieving a picture from an external source for subsequent processing is known as image acquisition. This is the initial stage in every image processing system. Next step is CAD design. Once the image is acquired, a 3D model is to be developed. This design is developed using images captured by the scanner. This design should be customized according to the patient so as to achieve good fit and comfort. Varying infill structures. Once the CAD design has been created, the pressure distribution must be assessed and the areas of the foot that suffer higher pressure must be able to support and comfort the wearer's foot adequately. This alteration of the infill structures enables the findings to be verified and modified. A part is composed of two distinct parts, the infill and the wall, which together form the part's interior structure, which is also called as internal filling. The support structure that completes the building's perimeter within a 3D framework structure is used to construct a building is known as infill structure. Depending on the needs, 
the quantity of infill may have different densities. For the infill, one may choose from a variety of different patterns such as cubic, honeycomb, grid, triangles, concentric and many more. Next step is topology analysis. Topology analysis is used to assess the stiffness of the newly developed orthotic insole. This investigation might be done to enhance the model's design and ensure that it corresponds to the required rigidity. It is possible to alter the design such that it does not have any of the optional parts. This study is valuable since using this method might reduce both the cost of the component and the quantity of excess material consumed. Additionally, it might reduce the weight of the component that is formed. Topology analysis may be used to do static stress analysis and shape, top op shape optimization too. 3D printing Up until the whole object is completed, material is deposited in consecutive layers throughout the 3D printing process. With this method, the object is printed from a CAD design while being supervised by a computer. With the aid of 3D printing, imagination can be made to come to life since even the most complex ideas or sketches can be quickly turned into three-dimensional objects. The final step is post-processing. Components are given their final look at this stage of manufacture by going through procedures including smoothing and painting. Post-processing that may be used to FDM 3D printed items include sanding, vapor smoothing, priming, painting, polishing, electroplating, gluing, welding, and hydrographics. Topology optimization methodology includes several steps. First, an initial design is created. Then topology optimization is performed on the initial design. Redesigning of the initial design is done if there are any changes after topology optimization. The design is then verified using finite element analysis. It is sent back to the previous step if there are any changes in the finite element analysis or it is considered as the final design. If the finite element analysis is verified. Software is used. Three different softwares have been used for the completion of this project. First, Autodesk Fusion 360. Fusion 360 from Autodesk is a flexible CAD program with all the functionality required to create items from the ideation stage to design verification and manufacturing on both conventional and digital fabrication equipment like 3D printing. Next, ANSYS or analysis of system has been used. ANSYS is employed to assess how a product might function in certain conditions. Using ANSYS mechanical finite element analysis software the strength, toughness, elasticity, temperature distribution, electromagnetism, fluid flow and other properties of computer simulated models of structures, electronics or machine components are analyzed. Ultimaker Cura Cura, a 3D slicing program created by Ultimaker is renowned for being both simple to use and very efficient. Despite the fact that the application may slice 3D files or any brand or model of the printer, the print profiles have been tailored for Ultimaker 3D printers. A component of the application enables users to import 2D images and turn them into 3D extruded models that can be saved in the file types STL, 3MF and OBJ. You may open several models in the program and arrange them in whatever way you want on the print pen. As a result, you will be able to print many models at once making it much easier for you to handle the printing process. Designing the model In this slide, you can observe the process of designing the insole. In figure 3, the initial design, that is, the dimensions of the foot, are considered. In figure 4, the smoothening of the edges can be observed. Next, the supports are added towards the heel. Finally, the optimized design is shown. In this slide, the finite element analysis performed in ANSYS software is shown. On the left side, you can observe the finite element analysis performed for the initial design. On the right side, you can observe the finite element analysis performed for the final optimized design verification. 
In the next slide, we can observe shape optimization process being done. Shape optimization should be done by giving a constraint at one point. Shape optimization is done for both the left foot insole and the right foot insole as shown in figure 7 and 8. In this slide, the complete workflow of the project has been shown. First, the initial design is created. Then, finite element analysis is performed on the initial design. According to the static stress results, the shape optimization is done. After shape optimization, changes are made to the shape according to the results obtained. Again, finite element analysis is done for validation of the final optimized design. After performing shape optimization and finite element analysis, we arrive at the results. Results are calculated for the maximum principal stress, total deformation and volume proportion. In the optimization summary, we can observe that for both the left foot sole and the right foot sole, mass before optimization is around 0.266 kg for the left foot sole and 0.217 kg for the right foot sole and mass after op optimization is 0.08 kg for the left foot sole and 0.152 kg for the right foot sole. Therefore, there is a 30% weight reduction in both left foot sole and right foot sole. In the context of this inquiry, a novel orthotic insole design for the management of leg length discrepancy was proposed. Based on the results of this study, it can be said that topology optimization which considers a range of design objectives and constraints is a useful design approach for reducing the total weight of structural items. The amount of material utilized significantly decreases with the weight reduction of up to 30%. The flexible material thermoplastic polyurethane was used to manufacture and print the orthotic insole. Foot measurements were utilized in the design process and the material was printed using a FDM. The design was printed after shape optimization, study of total deformation and volume proportion. If this initiative is successful, the medical industry will be able to combine advanced manufacturing techniques and minimum materials with shape modifications to perform a better job while also improving patient comfort and efficiency. Before concluding my presentation, I would like to thank once again International Research Awards on Computer Vision and Science Father for giving me this wonderful opportunity to present. I feel overwhelmed and honored to be the recipient of such a prestigious award. Thank you.